Hello my Asgardian Minecrafters and welcome back to another episode of Building with Thor. I am Thor Hammerhand and today we're going to be learning how to build this dilapidated old tower. This this manky old mage tower. Looks like it could be falling down in any second. It's probably only being held up by the magic of the person living in it. It's Merlin! Merlin's tower! Anyway, this tower is so easy to build. That's why I'm making this tutorial. And we'll show you a little bit of little bit all little little bit of the inside so um obviously i'm showing this off in the halcyon days texture pack which i adore but we will be learning how to build it in the default texture pack of course um up here there's plenty of room just for a nice little uh, there's brewing and cooking stuff up and books just enough room for your average run of the mill uh wizard anyway let's quickly go on to a test world and we'll learn how to build this. So here we are on my creative world and just before I start it off I thought I'd just give you a quick look at how it looks in the default texture pack, lovely, and let you know that this build is on display right now and will be for all time on the Lord's World server and I will show uh, the coordinates to that down in the description, down in the down there. Anyway, let's get started. Let's start this building off in the traditional manner and we'll start it off at the bottom. Start off with a little square and then off each of the sides go out by another one. So you've got a two by two square and then you're coming off by one on each side. Then on, we'll call this the front now. Might as well get that out of the way. We'll go up by three of cobblestone on the sides and the back, like so. And then we'll go up by four in each of these corners with the stone bricks, like so. On that now, we've got our front door here. So we'll line that off with upside down stairs here. And then on top of that, we will, let's put a couple of the cobblestone there for now. We'll put two correct way upstairs and then a corner stair on either side like that. Now, that is most of our entrance done. In fact, because I'm feeling a little bit uh, impetuous today, I'm going to put down these two little blocks here as well. And those are going to be for the struts that hold it up. Now... Above these cobblestone um, sides here, stick in two correct way upstairs on them, and then on the sides here have correct way upstairs going each one of them to the side on this up to this post, and then turn it and do the same here. So the other side of that post, stick them down until you get to this post, and then on this side, go for the other side, and then correct way upstairs like that. That is most of the bottom now done. And just because I'm very impatient, a very impatient person, very impatient boy, I put in a couple of walls here now, which I could wait for later to do. But hey, if I can do it now, might as well do it now. Chuck in all the way round so you get this uh, sort of shape from the top. Uh, cobblestone, I don't believe it. It started raining again. I don't believe it. And then, afterwards, you need to come up by 12 blocks. So one, no, let's just do it in one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is how far this, well, uh, this section is going to go, the, the main neck of it. So I'll stick in all of these now. In fact, I'll do them on camera. No reason why I shouldn't. Just right there. There we go, and no, maybe maybe I shouldn't have done. It's <laughs> it's taking a little longer than I imagined it would. My clicking speeds must be a little on the slow side today. Right, so there we go. We've gone up by 12, and now at this point we need to start putting in, and you can see from over on this side we've got a window that comes in at this level. But you can't put in a middle window. So what are we going to do? We're going to fake one by putting in some stairs like so. So we end up with a window. We're going to stick one of them all the way round. So obviously the same here. So I might as well just... I'll just do this 
other one, but I won't do all of these because that would just be totally unnecessary. And then when we come up, look, we're on that block there. Take a block, take another block, and then the next window is going in here. So stick it in now. Might as well just do this front bit. So that's going in there. Then we'll do the same again. We'll come up by, this is the next block, one block, two block, and then in here is where the next one comes in. Now we've got to do that on those levels all the way around now. So we've got a window here. We might as well, in fact, when you're doing each one, just knock out the whole level. Do two of them like that, and then come in afterwards and put in your window like so. And that way it's going to be much easier for window placement throughout the build. Uh, but anyway, might as well do the rest of these off camera. You do it at the same time and we will reconvene when we have lots of windows. Well, at this point we find ourselves with a, with a bit of a lolly stick. Um, so we're going to need to do something about that. We're going to need to change something. As we came up by that amount, this top now can come out by one so put an upside down stairs just uh, level with the top one and then on top of that we're going to start off more windows don't bother finishing them off yet just put them down so you can see where they go like so there you go we've got them sorted and then level with the windows we're going to come and we're going to have a pillar three tall so you can do that on each side two three three <laughs> three I can do counting, I can do counting. So, two, three, <laughs> and then above it, might as well um, come above like that. That's the, that's the way I like to do it. It's easier building that way, so take it out above where the window is, and then across one, again, out to above, and then across. And we do this because now it makes it much easier to place our tops of our windows like so there we go if you don't mind and these ones what is it one more yep so we've got one more and that's that now below here put two walls below this pillar that you put in on each side one two and one two and then next to each of these Put the three down the sides here, so that's on every side, three down, or with these walls. Walls are nice, because they do add a bit of roundness. Now, that little edge round here kind of rounds off a bit more than it would, as it is. And then on top of each window, put two of the walls again, like this. And from here, we are ready to tackle the... It's, it's not hard... Um, it's not a hard roof, but we're, we're ready to tackle it at the very least. Well, I do hope that nobody has to spend too much time re-looking at this uh, roof, but I don't think we will today. I think this is going to be a nice, easy one. We're going to start off each of the window sides by putting on top of the cobblestone walls, we're going to put in the spruce stairs that I've got here. These look rather nice, and in between them, diagonally, on top of the other walls, we're going to put in full spruce blocks like this and like this so that's okay and now behind these stairs we're going to go up by two blocks on top of that uh, stone brick that's down there and we're going to come up by those two on each of the sides and then on top of everything now that we've got there we're going to place a uh, stair facing the same way that they are on the window same on this side so there there and there and then the same on this side, there, 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 and there. And the same on the last side, like so. Right, we're, we're well into it now. We are well into it. Uh, on this level, it's probably best that we come round in a uh, square here, like that. There we go. And now, behind the, um, the stairs, in the same line that we've come up, on each of the window sides we're going to come up by another block missing out these corners and then on top of them we've got another stair like that now we're going to fill this top bit in not there thank you very much and then we're going to come up by one more block and now we're going to curve off some stairs here so 
Um, let's see, how am I going to do that? Wait that way? Then that way? Then that? Yay! First time! You usually have to mess around with that a little bit, so just follow that and you'll be fine. Right, coming around now, on this full block, we're going to put in fences, stops, um, spawns, and it just helps to make it look a little more dilapidated. And on this exact corner here, on the bottom, we're going to stick in another of these fences. I'm using the dark fences just because it's got such a hard contrast to the spruce. I think it looks really nice and it looks nicer because it's darker. Anyway, we're down the bottom here. Let's start the inside. This might be a little bit of a pain, but just follow me and you'll be okay. Those famous last words. So let's go inside and find a way to get up there. It's not going to be pretty. First thing we need to do is put down just two uh, cobblestone blocks down here. We're going to stick in a full spruce there and a spruce uh, stair facing this way. And now begins, this, this, is, this is not going to be pretty, but we're going to go up and turn by one each time. So now we're here, and we'll turn, and now we're there, now we'll turn, now we're there, now we'll turn. Watch this one. Yuck! But there's no way to stop it. It's the only way to do it. So you go in, up, turn it again, and you can get straight onto there. So it does work. It is a working staircase, but unfortunately, it's it's the only way that you can get up in something this small. And if you want to spend ages making something much bigger, uh, much wider, then by all means, go ahead. But uh, you, you, at this point, you could be sticking down um, some torches anyway. Let me just pick up a torch while I'm at this point so we can see what we're doing. But <clears throat> I'll come down to the bottom now. And I like to stick in the torches um, on that first wall that you come against. So you're coming in, you've got that first wall, stick one in. Come up and round, stick one in. Up and round, stick one in. And up again, stick one in here. And then you're at the top. So you could stick another one in there if that's what you wanted to do, but I, I wouldn't suggest on it. Now, to get our room up the top, we're going to need to pick up some ladders. So we'll just pick them up quickly here. And we're going to make our flooring for up here level with these um, stone bricks that we've got. Oh, yeah, I can't stick one there. I've got a ladder there. Of course I do. Of course I have a ladder there. There we go. And on each of these sides as well, so let's just put that down for a second. You can get rid of two more blocks on each of these sides, and that will be fine. We won't do anything up here for now. I'll leave the torch, and we'll just go down to the bottom again. Makes more sense. And we'll finish off the outside door. Easy. Come up to where you've put your cobblestone. Now, you can obviously take that out as you like and connect it to to the road, wherever the road is, but it'll be fine. It's also fine without any um, road going up to it, because maybe you wouldn't have many visitors if you lived in a place like this. Now, we're on to some of... Um, I, more boring. I will go more boring, actually. I This makes it look so much better, but it's flipping boring. So you've got to go around now, and anywhere that you fancy it, just put in cracked. Now, you know that this one probably doesn't want to get taken out because it's got a uh, a torch on it, but um, anywhere else is pretty much fair game. And uh, if at the same time you want it to look even more busted up, chuck in some of the cobblestone as well, and a few of them can seriously start making it look busted up. In fact, let's get one up here. Oh, that was where one of the torches were. Good heavens! Um, yep, that's enough on there. Let's get another couple around the back here. Let's get one in there as well. We're looking, we're looking fairly good. That'll, that'll probably do us. I mean, you could, in extreme circumstances, take out blocks and leave a hole. Now that can look okay, but you've got to be pretty hardcore if you want to do that to your, to your buildings. But, hey, some people are pretty hardcore. Well hardcore. So we've done that. Also, 
vines here, there and everywhere. You can't stick them on the sides of these, um, these stairs, so don't worry about that. But chuck them around, and if they go too far, what you're probably going to want to do is put some string around to stop them going further, which I will show you somewhere near the end. Also, for the outside now, we might as well just chuck this in as well. I like to put in a little bit of um, sort of like creeping something around here, making it look like it's being overgrown by one of the sides. You know, it's just personal taste. If you like that, then stick it in. If you don't, then leave it out. It might be a little bit much, to be honest, especially the amount I've put in there. It's... Something a bit more like that might be okay. Maybe we get rid of that one as well. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more, bit better. A bit better. Right, now, this is obviously a completed building at this point. You can put the interior however you like. But to maximise the space in here, I like to get some chests for down the bottom. So, um, let's see, H for chests is I just... Can I just not find one straight away, please? Could that not just happen? Behind there, I'd like to stick one. On this side, I think you can put down two quite easily. And on this side, you can just put in the one there. And it's just something. So you come in, if you were using this on a survival world, you've got a little bit of something, something down there. You could put in another one there, actually. I've just, yeah, just seen that now. It's absolutely fine. But I'll meet you up the top, and I'll show you what I like to do up there. Well, up here in the attic room, we've got many options. Now, I don't suggest that anybody needs to do exactly what I'm doing, but I'm thinking as you come up from here, I think the bed should be at the furthest point, and then maybe some reading material next to the bed, what do you reckon? And then on top of that, we've got um, a line of bookshelves. In this corner, we can have a furnace. And then on top of that, we can have um, we'll go for brewing stand. And that'll look nice as well. I mean, just all of the things that you'd expect there to be in a wizard's castle thing in Majoggery. Uh, on this side, we could go... Um, no, we could go a couple of chairs with a little table in the middle. Why don't we stick a flower pot on that? Uh, it can be either a drink or uh, we could put a flower in it. Something crazy like putting a flower in it. On top of that, we've got a crafting bench and... Then I think that's about that's just about all we've got room to do in here anyway. So I mean, you couldn't really stick anything more in here at all. Lovely. So no more um, no more chests up there. But in here now we've got room for each of these sides to put in uh, a chest anyway. You could put one in there too. There's much more storage. One, two, three, uh, three double chests and a full chest there. You've got um, two, four, uh, five. You've got five double chests downstairs. That's brilliant. Let's meet outside and have one last look at this, maybe in the Halcyon Days texture pack, while I uh, explain what we have done. Well, in the normal fashion, I have gone ahead and finished some stuff off and then realised I haven't actually finished the building. So just one last thing. The tops of these little pillars here that you see, one, two, three. And that's it. Three of the walls above them. One, two, and I'll have to get rid of you, I'm afraid. Chum. Three, and all on this side as well. Might as well do it all in this Halcyon Days texture pack. You all know what you're looking at for such things. But this truly is done now. You can finish off a building like this. Just a little acacia, you know, some bushes here and there, and a bit of bone meal hither and tither. But um, yes, this is now completo. As always, if you enjoyed this video, got anything from it even, please drop me a like. It means more than I'm sure you know. And never will you have been so happy to create something that looks so run down and bust up and beaten and broken. But uh, subscribe for more videos similar to this. And I will see you guys in the next Let's Build. Until then, be well.